In previous videos, I've showed how you can use Turbo Broadcasts in your model to make a live update. So we can put methods on our user model here and whenever there's updates, it'll broadcast those using Action Cable uh, straight into the browser. Um, this is great, but it doesn't always fit neatly into a model like this. So today I want to show you how we can use Turbo Streams in a more custom way. So I've set up a demo app here that is just a checkout. So when we click buy, we currently redirect to this pending screen. We'll kick off background job to process payments. And then once we're done, we want to go to a success screen that shows that your order is processed and on the way. Currently, when we click the pay button, we're just redirected to the pending screen, but we want to use a turbo stream to live update the content on this page. So if we go into our payments controller, you'll see that there's currently a redirect to the pending payments path. Instead, we're going to replace this with a turbo stream. So we can say render turbo stream and we can say turbo stream dot place. Um, the first argument here is an ID. So we're going to say payment form. Then we can pass partial, a template or even a view component. But in this example, I'm using templates. So we'll say payments slash pending. And when you're using a template, I think you also need to pass layout false. So we'll save this and go back. And now when we reload our page and click pay, the content is now swapped out using a turbo stream without having to uh, do a full page redirect. The next part of this is that we obviously kick off a process payment job. So if we go in here, you'll see um, I've added a uh, sleep for three seconds where you would ordinarily hit Stripe and process a credit card. Um, and then afterwards, what we can do is we can do a custom turbo stream broadcast. So we can say broadcast replace to and payments is the name of the turbo stream channel. So if we go to our application, we want to put a turbo stream from payments tag and this just connects up with action cable and monitors that channel. Then uh, we use the target, which is the ID of the DOM element that we want to replace. And then again, we pass our template here. So um, if I've done this correctly, and we probably need to restart our server to let Sidekick update with the changes. And we go back to our payment form and we hit pay. We should now three seconds later get our nice screen in. So there we go. Um, so all of this is now happening through Turbo Streams. This one happens across the WebSocket. So if we open up our cable connection here and we'll just run this again, um, we should see a message coming across our cable here with all that HTML to uh, insert into the page. So I hope that was useful. These custom Turbo Streams are extremely powerful and can help you build a really interactive application without being too constrained to using the broadcast methods inside a specific model. If you like this content and want to see more stuff on Hotwire, uh, please subscribe.